We've got a beautiful autumn set for you. Now, when I decided to do this, the only thing I knew I wanted to do was a little bit of art painting, like some leafy designs. Um, the rest just kind of grew, really. So I got up, got out, got up. <laughs> yeah, I wish. No, I just got um, got out a couple of like you know rosy golds, uh, coppery shades. First one I'm coming in with today on the little dinky binky here is drama queen from cjp it is a pre-mixed glitter acrylic that means it's got clear acrylic mixed in with the glitter now there's quite a few large hexes on here so what i've done is i've put that down and then here you'll see me coming in with some coppery orangey this is a self mix i did now if any of you have been watching my channel for a long time i used to have the subscription from the um, glitter fairy and what i used to do was uh, decant them into my uh, little trays and anything that was left over on the towel i used to put into a little you know a little pot i didn't waste it and in that pot is some iridescent scales some orange copper scales and some orange copper butterflies I've only got a little bit, but that's what I'm going in with. So it's something I've actually mixed myself. Here, you'll see me going in with Blushed Bronze from CJP. It is the most gorgeous brand. It's got like a shimmery gold flex going through that. So I am going to pop that all over nice and gently. Keeping my sides in, making sure it's nice and thin. I will need to cap that later. Just a little bit more on the tip just to get it nice and opaque i thought it was a little bit uh, a little bit sheer so i'm just going to brush that out make sure it's nice and blended then i'm going to go in with cherry blush blossom <laughs> blush i can't talk today guys i'm rubbish um this now, when I first started using CJP um, a couple of years ago now, uh, I started using it and this was my favourite. I always went to this. This was before they brought out um, peach sorbet and there's another peach one as well. And I got both of those and one was lovely to work with and one was really like a complete bugger to be honest but this this was my go-to color i love this so i pulled this out today because i thought this would go nice so i'm just going to fade it down and leave that to set and then on the pointer finger we're going to do a marble so i'm coming in with vanilla thriller now guys when i'm doing marble since i've got this this is my go-to i've stopped using white and gone to this because it's the most gorgeous off white but not quite cream it's so soft it's gorgeous it really is gorgeous so I'm going in with the vanilla shade with that blushed bronze and I'm just gonna pop that bead down because I've dipped both sides of the brush in make sure it's nice and neat around that cuticle area before I come in with my beads for the marble so the beads I am going to use will be um, small wet beads not too wet I don't want them to run off and completely lose control but I do need them movable, so I need to put them on quite fluid. So I'm going on with that blushed bronze. Then I'm going to go in with copper rose. And then I'm going to go in with vanilla thriller. Put my point, pointed brush into that and I'm going to swirl it up, down, up, down. I don't want to play with that too much because as you can see it becomes quite mushy it can go a bit murky especially using the brown so i'm coming in with a tiny bit of that blushed bronze i'm just going to thread it just a teeny tiny bead and thread that through just to break it up a little bit and i'm going to do exactly the same on the tip Thank you. 
this application guys of the acrylic it's all in real time so this is how much i faff yes it's true right okay so i'm going to come in with a little bit of drama queen on my brush i'm just gonna um just get like the tip of my brush in the monomer dip the tip of my brush into drama queen because it's got those really big hexes in and i need to be careful because this is a marble i don't want to detract from those beautiful wavy brown and cream shades that i've got there so by putting just the very tip in i'm getting three or four hexes and then what i do is nudge it exactly where i want it again if you watch my channel regularly you will know that i do do this with glitter you know i do pop a bead on there and i will move it exactly where i want it to go so once i'm happy with that guys i'm gonna come in with a couple of those scales and those copper hexes just one or two and i'm just gonna pop them on top of those big hexes and just break that up a little bit with the rose gold with the copper then what i'm going to do is leave that to set and then we can go on to the middle finger and here i'm coming in with copper rose this is another um cjp acrylic and it's exactly what it says on the tin so i will fade that onto the core powder there cherry blossom blush and i will fade it up the tip leaving the very tip clear just like i did on the little finger then what i will do is with a wet brush dip it into the raw glitter which is that copper mix that i made and pop that into that wet acrylic guys then what i'm going to do is clear cap all these nails i will then file and buff them into shape and then we can do some nail art and here I'm going to show you how I load my brush so I have a tiny bit of snowdrops from CJP and I will load my brush over and over again you need it between those bristles so I can get some beautiful fine lines so here I'm going to do a leaf shape now I need it wet okay that means i can't park cure it in between and i'll tell you why in a minute but what that means is i've got to go in carefully so what i do when i work this way and it's just the way that i do it in case i go wrong okay so what i will do is i will do really thin lines really dainty okay if i'm happy i will move on And I'm going to do a couple of these leaves around those hearts just off the right hand side as you're looking at the screen okay so here you can see me popping on those leaf shapes right okay now I'm going to load my brush a little bit more what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to thicken them more I'm happy with them okay I've only done a few but I'm really happy with it so I need it wet so I'm going to go just over it with a little bit more then I'm going to put some thicker lines on, some little wavy lines, not too intricate. Just a little bit of nail art. That leaf, I want to go just over the edge to fill up that side on that stiletto tip. Come in with another wavy line here. Again, thread it round that C curve. And then I'm going to put a couple more wavy lines here, fill up this gap here i will go over the leaf shapes and i'll continue to do this to fill in that negative space with some nail art okay and this is all wet remember i haven't cured this so i'm being really careful really careful right once i'm happy with those lines guys i'm going to move everything out the way and i'm going to come in with an iridescent white fine glitter and what i'm going to do is sugar it i'm going to pop that over the top when i tap it because it's piled at the at the top it will 
fall down and into that tray and there we have it pop it in the lamp for a double cure I need to get through that glitter and here I'm coming in with a rose gold gel glitter and I'm gonna fill in those hearts on the right hand side of the screen as you look in there's three and also those leaf shape then what we'll do is pop that in the lamp for a full cure I will list everything below for you guys in the description box what we've used today this glitter gel was from Aliexpress and it's a Rosalind one they do lots so I think I ended up with about half a dozen I've got pink green gold rose gold that sort of thing and I'm just dipping the very very tip of my brush in I'm not dunking it in it's just the very tip I just need a teeny tiny amount just to fill in that gap but not go over the beautiful white iridescent glitter that I have on there then like I said I will give that a full cure and then we can get into the top coat so at the lamp that nail is finished I will then top coat the rest of these nails then guys we're coming towards the end of the video today so I really do hope you've enjoyed this little nail play if you have would you mind just taking a moment please and hitting that thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already I would absolutely love it if you would as always there's a clip at the end to show you this design in detail I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching stay safe guys and until next time bye